There is a plague on the male sex, an issue that we all have to face, day in, day out, through most of our lives, from childhood to adulthood, and yes, even death when we're no longer even be able to listen to it. It's a problem that's affected every man, gay, straight, transsexual, everything in between. And it's about time that we as men we discuss this issue and we address this issue and we try to solve this issue. I'm of course talking about nagging, yes, nagging, that age old problem that every man has had to deal with from a woman from cradle to grave. Whether it be about her friends, about how they've got this new necklace that she wants, about this dress that she wants and how it would look better on her, from how she's not getting paid enough in a job, how a she broke a nail, and how you've not done this right, you've not done that right, you've done this correctly, but it could be somewhat better, are you going to pay for the wedding, are you going to make sure that it has white, like, decorations, rather than pink decorations, make sure to uh, feed the baby, make sure to do the nappies while she's away doing something, this, that, and the other, it's getting to the point now where men, w we, we simply just can't handle it, so we die early, I mean, men, on average, we live, what, six years earlier than women, we die very early, and I can reckon a lot of that comes from the strain of having to deal with this constant verbal harassment on a daily basis that men have to go through, I mean, think about it, stress, it's taxing on the brain, and when something's taxing on the brain, the brain cannot handle the constant pressure and the strain, and well, you can end up with dementia, you can end up with brain death, hell, maybe you end up dying of natural causes and you'll stress yourself to like a heart attack or something. Nagging kills, at least slowly and painfully over the course of a few years, but still, nagging is a huge issue. It's causing men to die, despite all these dangerous jobs that we work. So how do we deal with this nagging? Well, I for one, I've decided, after careful deliberation, to essentially lobby the government to have a mandatory gagging order on all women. Now how you gag these women is entirely down to the individual's discretion. You could, if you are so inclined in the BDSM way, get a ball gag and wrap it around her little mouth and bask in the silence as she says nothing. Now obviously there has to be a time limit to this gag order and I would say from around about 6pm to roughly about 8pm uh, the man can have a nice quiet relaxing two hours as he just comes back from his nine to five job and can just have a nice cup of tea, read the newspaper or his electronic equivalent and not have to put up with the incessant ramblings and nagging of this woman who has inane bullshit that she has to deal with and can't be bothered to deal with it herself so moans at somebody else or takes it out on somebody else. I mean while we're at it we could even go a bit further than that and say that they cannot even say certain things during these hours if a full gag order is impossible. So you can't talk about your friends at, in these two hours. You can't talk about dresses. You can't talk about all these inane problems. No, only positive things. Reassert that this man is the greatest thing that's ever happened to your life. Please make sure that in this limited time span that he has on this earth, less time than you, you make sure he has a great time. I mean, stopping them from doing it, it's only for two hours. I mean, after the two hours is up, they can totally go and say whatever they want to the guy afterwards and he'll be perfectly ready. He'll have prepared himself mentally and physically to deal with the barrage that is about to happen. And then he can go to sleep, wake up, go to work the next day, fresh in the knowledge, knowing that he won't have to listen to her while he's at work. And when he gets home from work, he won't have to listen to her until the two hours are up. I mean, it's win-win, isn't it? Now, what if a woman breaks the gagging order? What if she decides, oh, I'm not going to follow this rule, this safety measure to protect men? Well, I suggest the following. We punish them by, I don't know, maybe a fine, maybe about, say, £500, or maybe, I don't know, maybe 30% of her wages goes uh, to the man, so if she's earning, say, 16000 a year, the fine is 
30% of that, I mean. It's only natural. The man does all the work. He earns more because he does more time. So it's only reasonable to assume that you pay for the amount that he works that you don't. It makes sense, doesn't it? Or we could simply cut out their tongues or kill them. I mean, it's logical, isn't it? They're not going to talk anymore if, if they're dead or if they have no tongue. I mean, what? Well, don't tell me I'm wrong. Nagging is a serious issue. It's a big issue. Uh, not only do these women think that they are entitled enough to lay on this emotional burden on men, this toil, this strife. It's bad enough that the woman has to put even more labour, emotional labour, on their men, even though some of these men will be working in actual labour jobs, like building and brickwork and things like that, or working a nine-to-five job in the call centre where the labour is taxing on your brain and voice. Do you not think that maybe the guy's just simply exhausted and he doesn't want to put up with this? Don't you have any empathy for this man? that you supposedly love for your parents, for your brothers, for your nephews and your uncles. How dare you have such sexist attitudes. Women, stop nagging. <laughs>